everything you might possibly desire. St. Jude, St. Thomas, we have those. Judy Thompson started the Jewelry and Gift Depot 20 years ago. There was no intention whatsoever of there ever being a Jewelry and Gift Depot. An improbable business. Oh, you got a nice collection there, Gloria. For an unlikely clientele. That's the difference. Incarcerated citizens are our target. That's our population base. This is for those who are of Indian faith. The fact that prisons allow jewelry at all isn't widely known. Inmates are allowed to buy jewelry if it is a symbol of their faith. On this one, he wants a braided wheat. Her first customer drop it in. was a friend of her son's. Some institutions allow watches. At Florida State Prison. And when he went to prison, he had on his chain and his medallion. So when some of the guys who are in prison saw it, they said, man, can I get one of those? Thompson says she was stunned, not just by how quickly the business took off, but by how meaningful it became. She just wouldn't really understand how much it means to them. Since then, she founded Forgotten Majority, a nonprofit advocating for prisoners' rights. These guys have heart. These guys are human beings. Running a prison jewelry business isn't something she ever imagined or wanted. If it wasn't for him, this business wouldn't exist. If it wasn't for him, that's where it started. So you take the lemons and you make the lemonade. Over the past 20 years, it's become a kind of ministry. If I live to see it, we will cover the entire United States because of the joy that it brings others. We'll never get rich doing this. That's not what it's all about. It's not gonna happen. But we will be able to get our product. We will be known for who we are and who knows whose life that may change. In just a few months, her son is coming home. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, almost home. And when he comes home, guess where he'll be sitting? Here. The business that he inspired will be his to run. Oh, well, he'll be ready. He wants to go on a cruise first, so we'll go on a cruise. But after that, uh, it's going to be hot seat. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.